Hello, my name is Randy Van Wagner, and I have the honor and privilege to serve as the president of Mohawk Valley Community College. I know this is not the graduation you envisioned when you first enrolled in your first class at MVCC, but don't let this pandemic diminish the significance of what you've accomplished. You are now a college graduate, and nothing can ever take that away from you. Commencement is my favorite of all of our traditions at the college, so I share in your disappointment. Just as you always pictured yourself walking across the stage, I never imagined that I wouldn't be able to look in your eyes and shake your hand as you do so. Nevertheless, I want to honor your accomplishment and offer you my sincere, heartfelt congratulations on such a tremendous milestone. While this is your accomplishment and you earned every last bit of it, don't forget to thank the family and friends who supported you along the way, as well as any faculty and staff who may have made a positive difference in your journey of success. Never forget that gratitude is one of those forces that grows stronger the more you use it. As author Gertrude Stein said, silent gratitude isn't much use to anyone. The coronavirus pandemic has created extraordinary circumstances that require us to bring our best selves to every situation. As a college graduate, you are now better equipped to live in this confusing time and those that follow, which surely will require us to sort fact from fiction, challenge our own truths, understand our own bias, and never stop learning. It may seem like everything is at a standstill right now, but don't forget the world is still accelerating at a bewildering pace, requiring us all to be lifelong learners. Don't let this associate degree or certificate be your last. It may not be right away, but sometime in the future, you'll likely need some kind of additional education or training to keep up with the ever-changing times. Find ways to keep growing and staying relevant. I know I speak for everyone at MVCC when I say how proud we are to have you graduate and join more than 50,000 alumni. Your accomplishment reminds us why we do what we do and why community colleges exist. Your success is why we are here, and your accomplishments in the classroom, in our community, and the world beyond define who we are as an institution. Our institutional success can be no greater than the success that each of you achieves. College graduates tend to have significantly better career earnings and more job prospects than those who did attain that threshold. You will likely be offered a broader set of choices as well, so don't sell yourself short but move forward with that unique virtue of humble confidence and add value in whatever situation you find yourself. Whether your next step is a new job or transferring to a four-year college or university, I trust that you'll continue to build on the skills and habits that made you successful here at MVCC. Whatever choices you make, I hope you'll look back at your time at MVCC fondly. We are so proud of you. We are proud of your achievements, we are proud of the leadership potential you bring to the bright futures that await each of you to contribute to your family, your community, and society as a whole. Thanks again for choosing Mohawk Valley Community College. I wish you and your families continued health and all the best for a very bright future. Friends, faculty, staff, parents, and most importantly, graduates, Good afternoon. My name is Camille Kaler, and I am the chair of the Mohawk Valley Community College Board of Trustees. Welcome to our first ever virtual graduation ceremony. I'm as heartbroken as you are that the opportunity to acknowledge your accomplishment in person is being impacted by this global crisis. But I'm happy at the same time to have the privilege to celebrate with you and congratulate you on the remarkable accomplishments you have made. You have reached a significant milestone in completing your studies at Mohawk Valley Community College, and for that, on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, we congratulate you. Graduation is a day of great pride for the trustees. Receiving your diploma may mark the end of your career at MVCC, but it is just the beginning of your path to success. And as you find success in whatever path you take, I encourage you to seek ways to serve your community so that those who follow in your footsteps may have the same opportunity to succeed as you have. I would also like to give a very special thanks to your families and friends for their patience, understanding, and moral and financial support 
during your time at Mohawk Valley Community College, as well as during these unusually challenging times. I am confident that we will all learn from this extraordinary challenge and become more resilient individuals. On behalf of the MVCC Board of Trustees, I would like to congratulate each of you on your graduation and give our heartfelt wish for good luck in your new beginning and thank you for all that you've given to us. May you live a proud life, a happy life, one where you chase your dreams and never stop learning. Congratulations. Hello to Mohawk Valley Community College. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, the families and friends of the graduates, and most of all, you, the class of 2020. Now, I'm really sorry I can't join you in person, as I do almost every year, but I'm grateful that modern technology allows us to still be connected on this very special day. As we all know, these are really difficult times perhaps more difficult than most of us have ever experienced. There are two aspects to this pandemic that make things all the more challenging. The first is our uncertainty. This virus is brand new and our lack of knowledge about it. How do we get the virus? How is it spread? How does it affect different people differently? When will we have an effective antiviral medication and vaccine? And most of all, how soon can we get back to normal? And the second aspect that's just as bad is that we have to isolate ourselves. We New Yorkers during times of trouble like to come together and be with each other, share experiences together. After 9-11, I stood with President Bush on the pile. No partisan divisions. We came together as Americans and New Yorkers. After Sandy, I walked the streets and beaches of New York City and Long Island and hugged people. But we can't do that now. We have to remain isolated. So the challenges of this moment are truly unique but so has been our collective response. The fact that we're finding new ways to do things like celebrating this graduation virtually just goes to show you that New Yorkers won't let anything, anything, stop us from honoring what's so important. First, I'd like to say a quick word to the parents. Nothing, nothing will take away your decades of hard work raising your children, for which they and all of us are so very grateful. And while this day may be tempered by worries about the future, at least there's one silver lining. You're not seated in the balcony way in the back. You get to sit next to your son and daughter, give them a hug as they receive their diploma and become an adult before your very eyes. Congratulations to the moms and dads. And one more word of thanks. Today, as we're celebrating right now, there are men and women all across the state and nation who are serving on the front lines, risking their lives in the battle against coronavirus. Doctors, nurses, healthcare workers, pharmacists, ambulance drivers, food workers, police officers, firefighters, and so many more. They are our heroes. And I am working in Congress to create a COVID-19 Heroes Fund, which would provide pandemic premium pay to all essential workers. Let's have a virtual round of applause for them. Now to the class of 2020. I know this may not be what you pictured even a few months ago, but today is still your day. All of your hard work has earned you a degree from a fine institution of higher learning and nothing can take that away from you. Right now, it may feel like the future is a dark hole, but what has been true throughout history is just as true today. That even in times of difficulty, there are always new opportunities, new ways of thinking, doing things in a better way. So my message for the class of 2020 is simple. It's natural to fear the unknown. But don't let the harshness of this current moment prevent you from seizing opportunities. They're out there. And don't forget, you have incredible assets. A college degree from a great institution, loving families who will have your back through thick and thin. Our society will overcome this pandemic and so will you. And when the worst is over, we'll need your help to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. You are our future leaders and we faith in you. So to the graduates, I say once again, congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. Congratulations to our MVCC 2020 graduates. We are so very proud of you. May your journey ahead be fulfilling and filled 
with joy. I know these are hard times, but you have persevered and are now college graduates. I love and am so incredibly proud of all of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello, folks. Congratulations on graduating. You should all be very proud of yourself. Great job. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm very proud of you. Hey, 2020 grads, Professor Kelly here. Wanted to congratulate you on a job well done. And moving forward, I want you to set the bar high and go after it like this. Just a small note to congratulate all of you on everything that you have accomplished. I know the world is different, but we still got this and you are proof of that. Congratulations, guys. All my best. Hey, everybody. Class of 2020, it's Bob Saget here. And I've been asked to do this by Mohawk Valley Community College. And my heart goes out to everybody. This is really a difficult time and you deserve to be congratulated. So congratulations, Class of 2020 at Mohawk Valley Community College in Utica, New York. I've been there and I actually loved it there. It's beautiful. I haven't been to the community college, but when this is over, I would like to. Uh, yes, that's right. I'm not just saying that. I want to be there but you'll be gone because you graduated. Go Hawks, that's right. And that's a team, I assume. You're not celebrating the bird. Uh, and, and just try to stay positive through this time. I know it feels like the world is upside down because it is, and it's uncertain times, but you did something great. You, you, you graduated, and, um, and that is to be commended. And there's so much that you'll be able to contribute because it sounds goofy, but it, it's not meant to be. You are the future. You are the future. And you guys are in a position now as the graduating class and you go, well, what are we going to do? There's no jobs, but there are jobs that are affiliated with the new world that we're in. And maybe you can figure out what those are. But uh, all of you, all of you can have a life and be successful and have a good family. And um, I guess that's the most important thing. Stay close with your friends that are true friends. This time does show you who's a good friend and who's not a good friend. And if you have a good family and uh, you can exchange that love during this time, that's a good time to do it. Even though there might be some fighting going on, I got that, I understand. Um, I have three daughters. So I'm wishing you guys the best and uh, congratulations. It's a big deal, uh, you know? Go Hawks, go Hawks. Congrats, Mohawk Valley Community College. You graduated, 2020, you did it. And virtual or not, you're there. So I'm wishing you all the best in the future. And I hope to see you out there. I'll probably be doing stand-up somewhere. Come see me and then just say you're one of the Hawks um, from Mohawk Valley Community College and come backstage, we'll take a selfie, we'll be allowed. Bring the whole damn class, I don't care when we're able to do that. It could be a while, but in the meantime, be safe, wishing you the best and uh, take care of each other. Thank you. Hey, what's up Mohawk Valley class of 2020? It is Drake Bell here. Uh, just wanted to shout you guys out and uh, congratulate you on graduating 2020. That's amazing. I know it's kind of weird uh, with what we're going through, this whole pandemic thing, being stuck inside, um, locked down. But you know what? We're all in this together. You know, here I am. I'm stuck in my house. We're all, we're all doing this together, but there, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, hopefully this will pass very soon and we can all get back to our normal lives. But we are all in this together. We're doing it. We're getting through it. Um, go Hawks, and uh, just wanted to uh, say, you know, don't let, don't let, I, I know graduating uh, with what we're going through is, is kind of weird, but, uh, um, and a little bit of a bummer, um, but don't let that cloud uh, all your achievements and what you've accomplished. I mean, this is, this is big stuff, you know, graduating um, is, uh, is a big deal. So uh, just, just know that we're, we're in this together. We're going to get through it. And, uh, and yeah, keep rocking. Congratulations to the class of 2020 at Mohawk Valley Community College. Go Hawks. Congratulations to you guys. I am Lisa Leslie, a four-time Olympic gold medalist, three-time WNBA MVP, two-time WNBA champion, and a Hall of Famer. 
I know we are in uncertain times and I know this must be difficult for you guys to graduate in this manner, but please stay positive, be encouraged. Use this time to continue to set goals for yourselves. I would always set my goals, short-term goals or goals I wanted to reach within one year and long-term goals that I wanted to reach within five years. Set those goals and then start to work backwards and figure out what it will take for you to reach those goals. Whether it's using your degree or going in a different direction, it does not matter. Just pursue something that you are passionate about. I always say run after your goals like it's the last train of the night. Catch them, go after it. Don't be afraid to fail. So here's the key. It definitely takes hard work. The dedication that um, each of us have to put in to work hard, um, it's no secret to that. But it also comes down to you know the idea that not only is it hard work, it's the choice to want to be great. So you have to be optimistic in that. You have to work with integrity as you work with other people. And you know you have to have courage. A lot of times people don't go after their goals because they feel like they're too lofty and they don't have the courage to really execute that plan. So make sure you, you think about what those goals are. Have the courage to try. Listen, I've failed many times, but if I had never tried, how would I know, right? So to reach success, do not be afraid to go after your goals. Try. We all have the choice at the end of the day and choose to be great. God bless you all. Stay safe and congratulations again.